I, the burden... Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The all thing will begin shortly. Eivor! You look... uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in need. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Yardum. You stand side by side, really. And one of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? Drunk as you are, I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and a love for his people. I see a Jarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know our stick. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham. Today I pledge myself. As my father was, I shall be your Jarl. Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Billy Jarl. <laughs> It'll take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There is no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? Aye. Well... Be fair, be just, and call upon us often. Our stick. I'm sure I will. Oh, with the launa me kanafin. Actually, brought some in on her. Well, that's good. Yes, yes, one more, and only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis, far away. A place of mystery, wonder, and a temple to a hidden god. The guardian of this temple was a proud man. I bring fair tidings, Renry. Hemingway Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He is their Jarl now, and he has pledged to aid us in times of need. 
I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Shall we? Please, Eivor. Not now. Not with Sigurd there. I should go. Friends, you may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull to come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because his name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What's your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. The elder men in Mercia are as changeable as the seasons. Why should we care what happens to your father? Someone will take his place. Because my father is honest, and a friend to all people, Saxons and Danes alike. If you offer an alliance in good faith, he will honor it. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall. But there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln.
Goodbye, Lord's boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear maybe escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Hunwald's back, drinking and jabbering as always. Hun who? Hunwald. So this is Hunwald's safe haven. Though we be a Mercian Shire today, tomorrow the Kingdom of Lindsay will rise again. Hunwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunbald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. I can only bring you as far as your father, Hunbald. You are the man who must reach his heart and lead him to reason. <laughs> are we talking about the same man? Your father is a spendthrift, Homewald. He ran this shire into the muck. <laughs> oh, Alvgar, you jest. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single dame will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in. Let's not break our bones without some alcohol to dull the coming pain. Alewife, for these stout Saxons, around on me. Well, that's, uh, uh, that's kind of you. Unexpected, like. <laughs> Cheers to this day. One who knows the true worth of silver! You canny fox! That was incredible! Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new! You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Ah! Hunwald is in trouble. Blake. Leave him be! Oh, Jesus! He's brought a bloody Dane! They said, Silver Day is drained!
Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairels and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me?